Um, yes, I have seen my mom be an ambassador of Christ. She actually serves in kids' ministry and helps so many kids come to know God, and she does God's work by doing the calling that he has set for her. She is so great at spreading the gospel and teaching kids Bible stories so that way they can learn more about Christ. Psalm 9111 says, For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all of your ways. I know this verse because my mom has prayed it countless times over me and my two sisters since we were little kids. I've witnessed my mom be an ambassador for Christ through her selfless devotion to raising three daughters on the foundation of Jesus' love for us. Through years of gentleness, patience, and unconditional love, she has brought up three girls who know and love their Savior, and for that, she is an ambassador for Christ. I've seen my mom be an ambassador for Christ in so many ways, through teaching Bible studies, having intentional gospel conversations with non-believing friends, but perhaps most impactful to me is how she has taught me to love his word. Even at a young age, my mom would play musical cassette tapes in our car radio, teaching me scripture through song. Thanks to my mom's faithfulness and GT and the Halo Express, I can still sing scripture that I have hidden away in my heart. My mom was the perfect embodiment of an ambassador for Jesus. First of all, I can remember walking into her room and seeing her on her knees with her Bible on the bed and praying. Uh, she taught Sunday school, but the most, the most ambassador-like that she was, was helping other people. She did everything she could to help other people. She even uh, met a homeless woman one time and brought her home to stay in our spare bedroom. I know didn't charge her a single penny and she drove people different places they needed to go, doctors, dentists, wherever they needed to go. And she never asked for any gas money, even though we were quite poor. Uh, she didn't worry about the money. She knew that the Lord would provide. And I know my mom up in heaven today is still up there helping people, maybe helping them with their harp playing or their angel singing or whatever, but I know she's still helping people and I'll never forget uh, her legacy to us. Good morning, my name is David Joseph, and I was asked to share how I have seen my mom be uh, an ambassador for Christ. Uh, my mom is now with Christ. Uh, she's been gone for some time now. My mom and dad uh, met uh, here in Tampa and were married here at the BP campus 72 years ago. And so I have a legacy of uh, them just uh, being ambassadors, but especially my mom having the gift of hospitality. That my first memory was that when they were stationed at Ramey Air Force Base in Puerto Rico, and they chose to live off base and attend a mission church. And I can just remember my mom just serving and loving on that community and uh, cooking for them, sharing dishes with them. Uh, she just uh, loved on them. Next memory I have is when we were stationed uh, outside of Washington, D.C. in Arlington, Virginia. My dad was at the Pentagon. Down the street was a troubled family, uh, mother, father, five kids. They were always just, just troubled. And uh, one night we saw police cars, fire engines, emergency ve vehicles down there. And we went down and come to find out the mother in self-defense shot and killed the father and she was taken off to jail. My mom said, what are you doing with the children? They said, well, there's no family locally, so uh, we're just gonna place them in some group homes or some foster care. And my mom said, uh, no, uh, I'll take them. And so she brought home those five kids. And for the next six months, those five kids lived with us four kids in a three bedroom duplex. Uh, but that was my mom, seeing a need, seeing an opportunity to serve and to love on uh, her community. And then I think back at also my last, the last station that my dad had was at Westover Air Force Base in Massachusetts. And I cannot remember a Sunday lunch after church where there wasn't someone at the table besides our family. Whether it was a new family at church, but more times than not, it was some airmen that attended the church. They were single guys that had no family. And so they would be over every Sunday after church for dinner. To them, my mom was known as Mama J. And they loved her. And she loved serving and ministering to them and allowing them to be part of our family. 
And then uh, my last recollection is when uh, my mom is a widow living in an assisted living facility near where I live. And uh, I'd go by there daily to just check on her and more times than not, she was ready to go out and minister to her old people. And I said, mom, you are an old people. But you know what? She saw uh, that community uh, as, a, as, a, as a platform for ministry. And my mom would daily either lead some Bible studies with some ladies or take people milkshakes that were bedridden. But uh, that was her. And that was the picture that she left and the example that she left for myself and my siblings. And I'll be forever grateful for that. So mom, thank you for being such a great example. And uh, I'd just like to say, uh, happy Mother's Day.